Well, hey all, buddy, first time RVers, how's it going? You can see here we're at home right now. We are heading out this weekend to go camping. Right now we're at home. This video is gonna be a little bit something different. Stay tuned to see. This will certainly help if you have an older tow vehicle. My uh, 2004 Pacifica here, although it's not a tow vehicle, has these extremely cloudy headlights. So even though this is a 2004, it has the updated headlights that get much brighter than the old halogen headlights. But at night, especially if it's raining, I mean, you can't see at all. So this is what we're gonna try to do. So there are companies out there that'll come out to your home and charge you a hundred bucks or so to get both your headlights looking good again. But I've heard of these kits that you can do it yourself. And this one is actually a Pittsburgh automotive from Harbor Freight, item number 62663. So that kit was 10 bucks. I had a coupon, got it for like nine and some change uh, with tax. Let's give it a shot. We're gonna go through the directions. I'm gonna read through those real quick and then um, get started. You'll probably be able to see me some in the fancy bumper there. First thing it says to do is give it a good cleaning. God, it's so rough, especially up here. Even spraying it. I know using Windex is probably not the best, but knowing this vehicle is 17 years old and 200,000 miles. I'm just glad it gets me to work and back every day. It's basically what I use it for. Although we did use it a decent amount when we went to Carolina Pines for three months. Clean the car a little bit around there too so the tape will stick. All right. Like I said, it is kind of nice that they give you masking tape. This was my father's car. He passed away two years ago. So it's kind of nice to drive it. When it came time to buy a new vehicle, I happened to show him these Pacificas. They had just come out. They had an old 90 something Lincoln Continental. And we're in the market for a new car. So I went and showed my dad this. He kind of liked it. And my mom, you know, she liked it. She's not really into cars, but she liked it. She passed away a few years before my dad did. But the one thing she asked when we went to pick this up was to not bring home anything blue because her Lincoln was blue and she didn't want blue. So when we saw this, it's kind of a, a very light green color. I called up my mom to make sure it was okay and she said, as long as it's not blue. So this is what we bought. Driving that old Lincoln to trade it in. I think they gave him 500 bucks. It was, um, it was the ones that were based off of the Ford Taurus. And it was, um, had the air ride suspension that had given way. So it was half sunk to the ground and bounced all the way down the road. So we knew we were getting rid of it no matter what, no matter what they offered. But he ended up with this. And I'm so glad that I now have it. It's actually in really good shape for having almost 200,000 miles. 
it was garage capped. All right, we're gonna start with the 500 grit. Looks like they give you six or eight pads of each. That didn't last too long. Luckily I do furniture restoration and I have a bunch of this wet dry. So if I gotta do it by hand, I gotta do it by hand. So you wanna keep this moving. So it doesn't heat up. Yeah, so they get pretty useless pretty quick. We'll go get some other sandpaper. Luckily, I got plenty of sheets on hand. Yeah, I think I'll do it into thirds. I'm gonna guess and say these are probably worse off than most. I'm gonna do this for a while and get back to you. So I'd say I've been sanding already for about 20 minutes. You can see how messy it is. There's a couple spots that I think I'm gonna keep working on. Like right here. I, I think I got one shot at this, unless obviously you wanna go out and spend more money. Last thing I'm gonna do is go through my like 2000 grit sandpaper I don't have any of that. So once I go through what they provided, then I'm at the end. So I'm going to work at it, get it the, looking the best I can with this 400 grit, and then we'll go on to the next steps. So I think it's looking pretty good. I basically used one full sheet. I can already tell that with this style headlamp, it's already an issue to try to get this in to these corners. So even with the 2000 grit, I'm gonna have to use hand sanding. Okay, let's clean this off and see what it looks like. All right, let's just get this cleaned off with little Windex. Certainly feels a lot smoother. I decided to go ahead and dip this in a little water to get some of these last areas and get in here, lubricate it some, keep it from burning. Excuse the dent in my head. We finished that first step and it already looks a hundred times better. Here's the other side here, an absolute mess, very yellow and hazy. And of course this side is kind of hazy, but I swear it's already clear. Let's get to the second and third step with uh, progressively finer and finer sandpaper before we do the final polishing. All right, we're back to using this again. Now we're gonna go to the 800 grit. Like I said, I'm gonna have to do that by hand in there. Let's take a look. Wow. They give you six pieces of 500 grit. 
four pieces of 80 grit and then they give you two 2000 grit these are actually a pad but they only give you one per headlight so again each step you want to make sure you get it as good as possible because on this last step it's got to turn out good and I'm glad I put this tape on because I've already knocked off some of the first or the second piece I put on wow does that look good that's after the 800 now on to the 2000 Okay, I'm gonna work at this for a while. Here's what it looks like after using 400, 500, 800, and what I now realize is 3000 grit. Now it's time for the polishing compound. It says just use a dime size amount. And squish it on so it doesn't splatter. I'm impatient, so I'm using a little more here. Battery change. Okay, we're back with the new battery here. I'm not too worried about hitting the tape with this because it's just polishing compound. Okay, I'm going to let that haze over, wipe it off, give it a coat of wax, get the tape off, and we'll take a look at it. Now I'm going to let mom take care of the last little step. Okay, it's pretty hazed over. So let's get this wax off. Let's do a quick before. Here's the one I haven't done yet. You can barely see that there's actually a little marker light inside there. And here's the after. What an amazing transformation. Here's that marker light that you couldn't see on the other side. But this is where it was really bad all through here. Is it perfect? No. Is it a million times better? Oh, heck yes. I'll be able to see tonight. I'm going to go ahead and do this other one. And then tonight we'll take her out on the road and I'll let you know what I think. Well, I am done. It has gotten ridiculously warm out here. Had to put my probably 30 year old hat on here. I don't know if you remember back in the day, you go to a football game. I used to go to a lot of Steeler games, a lot of Raven Steeler games because I was in Maryland. And uh, you apply for a credit card and they give you something. And got this little Steeler hat. Yes, at the Baltimore Ravens Stadium, of course. Back in those days, you just had to fill it out. You didn't have to show ID or anything. So, you know, we just put any name on there and just get something free. All right, well, let's take a look. It took me about an hour and a half. Could probably have it done in an hour. Here we go. 
the finished product. I went ahead and washed the front. You know how when someone does like a weight loss video or gets their teeth fixed, they have no makeup on beforehand. But then when they show them with their fixed teeth, they're all done up. Well, that's what I figured I'd do. Clean up the whole car. But there you go. Here's the first one I did. Is it perfect? No. Is it better? Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, that is amazing. Absolutely amazing. There you have it. Harbor Freight's Pittsburgh Automotive Deluxe Lens Renewal System. Will I buy it again? Yep, I'll use it again when I need it. Not on that Land Rover, because that thing's so old, it takes the old glass uh, headlights, so. But I'll use it on the truck when needed. So what I think I'll do, I'll close this video out with a quick drive around tonight. See how much better it works. See if I can see easier. All right, well as always, give us that thumbs up. Tell us what you think of the video. Ask any questions, leave comments, good or bad. We love reading them. Subscribe, share with your friends, and we will pick you back up soon. I think we are heading to uh, Myrtle Beach again this weekend. Alrighty, bye-bye. So they're definitely a lot better. Looks like the passenger side's reaching a little farther than the driver's side, but they're definitely better. Okay, well, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.